What's up? This is Jordan Wagner with PremierGuitar.com and I'm here today with the new Dark Terror 15 watt all tube super high gain amplifier head. Now this thing, for lack of a better term, is a complete rager. It's based upon the original Tiny Terror. It's a pretty popular hit for orange amps. This one bumps up the gain considerably and the amount of heft in the tone as well. Um, so you still have the same basic three controls that the Tiny Terror had, or has, uh, gain, shape and volume. Uh, shape control kind of adds a little bit more high end and scoops the mids a little bit and the sh or, uh, lower end of it also brings in a little bit more you know low end into the into the tonal spectrum there. Uh, standby switch you can flip between 15 and 7 watts and on the back of the amp there is a serial effects loop and three speaker outs. The whole thing is powered by a duet of EO84 power tubes two 12AX7s in the preamp and one 12AT7 as the phase inverter. Okay, today I'm going to be demoing some tones with the Dark Terror with this 1978 Gibson Les Paul Custom with Tom Anderson pickups in it and an orange PPC412 4x12 cabinet which is a very very good match for the Dark Terror. Now the Dark Terror was made to kick out some super raging just killer in your face tones you know very 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 over the top um, and but still retain that kind of that quintessential orange juiciness in the mid-range and that kind of fuzzy high end and low end that basically makes an orange amp sound like an orange amp. <laughs> There's some other really cool things you can do with it too. Personally, I really, really like the low gain tones on the amp, especially when you drop down the guitar's volume knob a little bit. Uh, you push the power stage by cranking the volume up and dropping the gain control a bit. And you can get some really, really cool classic rock low gain tones out of it with that orange high end quintessential sting. <laughs>
the Dark Terror is also capable of getting some clean tones, albeit they aren't pristine clean. Uh, it's definitely not an amp you're going to be going for if you really want like a super sparkly, like twin reverb type clean. They're definitely usable though. Um, and really, really the only way to get them, seeing how it's a single channel amp, which is designed to just have a ton of gain on top, is to drop your guitar's volume knob down quite a bit and be a little conservative with the gain as well. So I'll demonstrate some tones with that right now. So there you have it, that is Orange's Dark Terror all tube guitar amp. Street price on this thing is $649, comes in a pretty cool plush carrying case just like the Tiny Terror did as well. It's a high gain amp and it was designed to really, really give you a super, super high gain over the top overdrive tone. Definitely sounds like high on fire in a box to me. You know, if you're really into that Matt Pike type tone or you're really into, you know, old school Mastodon, it definitely, definitely nails that. It uh, has some pretty cool low cane tones as well, and there are cleans in it, and if you're pretty handy with your guitar's volume knob, you can coax them out of it as well. So you can read my full review in much greater detail in the November issue of Premier Guitar or online at PremierGuitar.com. So again, this is Jordan Wagner, and thanks for watching.